And we know those three components of self-regulation are number one, setting a goal and an intent, meaning that you say to those kids, okay, for this many minutes, I'm going to be talking about this so that you guys will be able to do this, whatever it might be. You set that goal, okay? And then after those many minutes, we're gonna go take a walk and come back and then be able to do the assignment, let's say. And then the second part of that is embedding or teaching. Now what's gonna happen for some people, and I do it as quickly as I can, is it's gonna be hard to sit for 10 minutes it's going to be hard to keep your mask on. It's going to, you know, all the troubleshooting. So here's what you can do. You can do maybe a little chair push up. You can remind yourself that I got this. I got this, you know, because they know when it's going to begin and end and you give them some ideas. And then the last part of that is reflecting and saying right before I end that 10 minute instruction or a 15 minute instruction, whatever it is, I say to the kids, okay, that went really well. What did that go well for you? Did people find themselves getting a little wiggly or having a hard time paying attention? You know, we kind of reflect on it. So it's intent, set a goal, troubleshoot what are going to be some areas going to be hard for you, and here's things you can do. And then the third thing is reflection. How did that work? Those are like the three really strong components around self regulation, and we all need them, you know, um, right? You know, through our whole life. I got to clean my closet, I got to set an intent. You know, I get to troubleshoot why I'm going to not want to do it and I'm going to create all kinds of reasons why I'm going to not do it um, and how I'm going to persevere and then go, hey, that worked pretty good. I'm going to use that technique the next time or that didn't work at all. And I think that is some helpful because we're teaching the skill and that would be the intervention part because remember, there's always two parts. There's the management, which is we're going to go out and take a walk. We're going to have blue dots on the floor. You know, we're going to have common language. We're going to have the poster where you can go stand at the poster when you need to stand. But you got to stand at the poster, the standing station. You can't just stand and walk around. If you need to stand, you got to stand at the standing station. Those are managements. Intervention is the prolonged way of continually teaching them how to self-regulate.